Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel. I am here with the solution for shuffling the string. See some of the interviewers are asking the viewers like you should not use int input method for getting the input. So instead of using int input method, you can directly give the input to the variable. Right? I am assigning string 1 as a variable here. For that I am giving the value Nelson. Next string 2 is Mandela. Right? So before swapping, you will have string 1 and string 2 value. What is the string 1 value? It is Nelson and string 2 value is Mandela. Right? So before shuffling, you are having Nelson Mandela. You can see what is the output after shuffling? It is Mandela Nelson. Right? So now we will perform the operation. In the fourth line, you can see string 1 is equal to string 1 plus string 2. See for your reference, I am printing what is the string 1 value after concatenating, right? So print string 1, you can see what is the output you are getting. String 1, here is nothing but you will have Nelson Mandela, right? Without space, Nelson Mandela will be printed, clear, right? So you have to know the concept how this Nelson Mandela will be stored in the system and what is the position of that and what is the length of that. For that, I am having the tabular column here. We are having string 1 as Nelson Mandela, right? So here each and every character will have its position. Initially, your position starts from 0. So N will be stored in 0th position. E will be stored in 1st position. L will be stored in 2nd position. It will goes on like that till 13. So position, you should familiar with the position now, right? And next one is in order to calculate the length, your length will start from 1 till end. Okay, so 1, 2 till end, you have to calculate the length accordingly. Clear? So, if you are familiar with this position and length concept, it is easy to understand the program. Now, see, we are just assigning string to that is here only we are going to perform swapping operation. Before that, we are having length of the string 1 and length of the string 2. Let me quickly calculate that. You have to print, print length of the string 1. You can see now what is the length of the string. Length of the string is, string 1 is 14 and length of string 2 is, length of the string 2 is 8, right. In the next line we are having that. String 2 is equal to string 1 of 0 to length of string 1 minus length of string 2. You can see here, I am just performing the operation for you, for your understanding. String 2 is equal to string 1 of, what is the length of string 1? Length of string 1 is 14 here, right? So, string 1 of, so it has to print from 0. 0 to 14 minus 8. Okay, what is 14 minus 8? 14 minus 8 is nothing but 6. Okay, so you can see now it is in the range of 0 to 6. You, you know very well in a range, in a range it will exclude the maximum value. So now how it will be printed in the sense it will print the value from 0 to 5. What is the value from 0 to 5? Here, here you are having it, 0 to 5. The value is Nelson. Right? So, in the place of string 2, in the place of string 2, 0 to 5 will be replaced. So, string 2 is equal to 0 to 5 is nothing but Nelson is the value we are having. Nelson is the value we are having. You can see now, string 2 value is Nelson so far now. But before shuffling, what is the value of string 2? Mandela. Now, you have shuffled the string 2 value. Clear? So, uh, before shuffling, you are having Mandela. After shuffling, you are having Nelson. Right? Now, what is this value of length of string 2 now? Length of string 2 is nothing but 6, right? Length of string uh, string 2 is 6. Clear? In the next line, we are just going to calculate it. We are just going to assign string 1 is equal to string 1 of length of string 2 till the end. Okay? So, string 1 is equal to string 1 of, what is the length of string 2? It is 6, right? 6 till the end, right? So, in the previous line, length of the string 2, string 2 is nothing but Nelson, the length of string 2 is 6, okay? And here, we are just going to assign it, length of string 2 is from 6, okay? 
Now, what is the value of string 1? String 1 is equal to, it has to start from 6th position. What is the 6th position? You can see here, 6th position is Mandela. So, from M till the end, it has to print. Okay. Now, what is the value of string 1 here? String 1 is nothing but Mandela. Okay. Clear. Now, what is the value of string 2? String 2 is Nelson and string 1 is Mandela. We are just going to print it. After shuffling, you are having string 1 as Mandela and string 2 as Nelson. Now, you have shuffled both the strings. Clear. So, this is a program for shuffling the string. For your understanding, I have typed this all. So, you, have, you should not type this during the program. And most of you are having the doubts like, see, I am typing the same program. I am not having the output. The meaning of that is, see, you are having a different condition during your interviews. Just understand the concept. Apply the concepts according to the questions. The questions are not similar. See, you are getting a change in the input method and the conditions. So, see the questions and answer for it accordingly. I am just guiding you. See, if you are getting the question like this, you can go for the correct program as it is. Or else you have to try your own logic and apply it. Okay, friends. So, this is the, all about shuffling the string. I am giving you another input also. So, Bill Gates. The first input is Bill. And second input is Okay, Bill Gates. You can see now it has been shuffled, and first string is Gates, and second string is Bill after shuffling. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching. If you are having any doubts, you can ask me. Thank you.